I'm Zan from Felon Fair, and welcome to today's video. Today we are talking about our new uh, medieval and fantasy boots. Uh, so if you are watching this video and maybe you are considering buying a pair of medieval boots for a medieval or fantasy costume, or if you are uh, have recently purchased a pair and now want to know uh, more about them, some things you can do with them and stuff, hopefully this video will be helpful. Our quick uh, disclaimers that we always have, first of all, um, we do sell these boots. We are we do make money from them. So this is obviously to a degree self-serving. Uh, just know that I guess. Um, so, but uh, you know the the things that we sell and things that we uh, we advertise are things we believe in. They're things that we use. Uh, they're products that we use at our events and our films, that sort of stuff. So um, know that that you know these designs, these these ideas come from our own personal experience and a desire to save you all the money and time and energy that we wasted in our journey and learning how to. Uh, use all this stuff, how to modify this stuff, what stuff was right to buy, all those sorts of things. The second thing is, uh, these are not historically accurate medieval boots. If you want a one-to-one, -one, uh, you know, reenactment, recreation of a medieval boot, this is not the boot for you. You need to do something else. We, we've used lots of those. Uh, you, uh, we have a video on medieval and fantasy boots and picking the right one. If you have questions about that, you can go check that video out. We'll try to link that in the bio. Uh, but know that uh, these boots are more of a generic we want them to look generally medieval generally fantasy something that you know you could see in a, a medieval or fantasy culture uh, which is most of what most people need right so whether you are a larper or a uh, work in theater or a film or something like that this is mostly going to cover uh, most of your bases there so uh, when we set out to design a boot uh, we were looking at all the experience that we had and all the issues that we had in finding boots, especially for men. Women, it's a little easier, uh, but especially for men, it's really hard to find quality medieval boots uh, at a price point less than like three or four hundred bucks. Um, but then, you know, better than like your normal costume boots. So, uh, you know, we tried lots of different pairs. We kind of took some of the things that we liked the most from lots of different pairs of shoes, from the modern shoes that we wear uh, to the medieval period um, pieces that we had, and we wanted to create a, a item that was subtle, that was low profile, that didn't uh, steal the show, that wasn't covered with buckles and doodads and fringe or whatever. We wanted to be very subtle so that it doesn't stand out. The point was that it, it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb uh, and kind of mess up the rest of the aesthetic of your costume. Because we put a lot of effort into your, our costumes, and I can't tell you how many costumes I've seen that are beautiful, but then somebody has a pair of combat boots on or a pair of very expensive, nice, handmade medieval boots, but they're all sorts of colors and buckles and buttons, and it doesn't look like anything that anybody would actually have worn uh, in the medieval times or uh, in a, a kind of fantasy, rustic uh, scenario, environment. So as a basic overview of our boots, uh, this is one of them right here. So these are nice uh, oil, um, stoned oil uh, leather. Uh, they're lined on the inside with cloth. Uh, they do have a zipper to help your foot get in, but we covered that up with a flap. Um, so you can see the zipper here, and we got this flap that then Velcros down. Uh, that we, we got that because a problem that we had always had whenever we used um, other boots is we could a lot of times find uh, women's boots uh, that are made for modern fashion purposes, uh, but a lot of times they had zippers and stuff on them, and you have to do something with that. So I've got a pair of women's boots right here. These are like women's size 12s, I think. Occasionally you can find crazy big sizes. So this fits like a men's size 10, but if you get above that, you're really in trouble. Really, if you get above men's size 9. But even these, you can see how a couple buckles on them, uh, which is fine. Um, but we had to cut the zipper out. We had to put this lace in. That was a lot of work. Uh, you can see we also had to do a lot of weathering on this to kind of disguise it and make it look less... Uh, obviously, this is like plastic faux leather, right? Um, here's another uh, another one right here. Same thing. We had to do a bunch of weathering. This one, we just left the zipper on. It's not quite as obvious. We pulled, we exchanged the zipper tab for this little uh, piece of leather lace here, but the heel fell off. These are not very grippy treads. Um, so once again, a boot that you know looked fine in most cases, but we were still having some problems with it. So uh, we worked with our manufacturer to develop these. So these boots... Um, the thing that we, like I said, we like about them is they are real leather. They are lined with fabric inside. 
Uh, you've got a little bit of kind of padding there. They've got these grippy uh, soles and treads. They've got a nice little heel. So if you're riding a horse, you've got something little to, to kind of connect with there um, on your stirrup. Um, and they're this rustic uh, leather that really, you know, it, it, it'll show the marks and the scuffs and it'll weather nicely so you don't have to do a ton of extra weathering to them. Uh, but they are very, you know, they're plain, they're basic. So you can slip these on and go wear them. Uh, but maybe you want something more than kind of the average brown boot and you want to do something extra to them. Uh, you want to tighten up the fit a little bit. Uh, you want to make them work better for you. Uh, we've experimented uh, with several of these pairs and we wanted to show you some of the things that we did. So first of all, you can do simple cosmetic changes. Uh, one of them is you can change the color, right? So this was a pair of those boots and we just got a pair of uh, Phoebe's uh, black uh, dye. And uh, in about, honestly, we did this in about 10 minutes. So you can take a pair of brown boots to black boots in about 10 minutes. Now we sealed them and this is something you can do with any pair of boots that you have. Uh, this is the Phoebe's um, Aussie Leather Conditioner um, or Aussie Wax. It is an incredible tool. You basically just wipe this on. I used to like to use a hair dryer and kind of melt it so it soaks in. Wipe it. The instructions are on the back. You can check it out. Um, but this is a great way to water, uh, make your boots water resistant. Um, so it really helps protect the leather, keeps it supple, uh, and helps it be water uh, resistant. It also helps seal in that stain. So once we or once we dyed these uh, these boots black we went ahead and seal it down. So that's an easy cosmetic uh, color change you can make right there. But there's other things. Let's say you want a little more ankle support or you want um, to tighten the boot up because you're gonna put on uh, greaves or something like that. Well, for, uh, here we got two straps and we made um, two uh, straps that just go around, uh, one around kind of mid calf and one around the ankle. You can cinch these up once you have the boots on. Um, we, you can see we use the flap. The flap is very handy because you can mess with it and modify it without having to mess with the structure of the boot itself. Um, so we just put some, uh, some holes in there, ran the straps and buckles through. So now we can cinch that up if we need to. Now this may take a little bit of leather work or leather skill, although if you have just some small belts you can cut down, you can do that too. Um, and so if you want something a little more simple, uh, this is just some leather lace that we took. And we did basically the same thing. And we punched holes right there in the flap. Uh, we ran the lace through it, and then we can tie it around the calf and around the ankle. Now, even here, though, once again, this is a modification that, um, you know, it's, it has to be you know, modified, uh, but, you know, more permanently because we're putting holes in the boot. But even getting some nice, strong lace, this is three-inch uh, um, Kodiak hide, or uh, sorry, uh, three, three-sixteenths, 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 not three-inch, three-sixteenths uh, Kodiak hide lace uh, that we used was nice and strong and still a little bit of stretchy. Uh, so you could just literally just tie around the boot and tie around the ankle. Um, it's depending on your foot size, that sort of stuff. Uh, you know, having that extra support, that extra tightness uh, can be very useful uh, to your boot. Or like I said, if you want them to make sure they don't slip or anything like that, you can just run a hole with a punch or, a, or an awl or even like a drill. Uh, if you do it right and, and back it properly, uh, you can do it with a drill. And then that way, without messing with the structural integrity of your boot, you've got a very you know different looking boot. And it doesn't have to be just a function thing. Let's say you and a bunch of your friends have the same sort of boots and you want to look unique or you're a costume designer and you want your different characters to kind of have their own personality. Uh, this is an easy way to buy eight of the same pairs of boots, but then slightly tweak them and modify each one um, for the different purposes of the different characters, um, especially characters that would maybe, um, you know, tend to work on their own boots or tend to work on their own equipment and tweak things to modify them to work best uh, for them. There's other things you could do. You could, you know, do all sorts of lace. You could add on stuff. You could do different stains, different colors, that sort of thing. Obviously, it's pretty much only going to go dark or not really going to go lighter. Uh, but there's a lot that you can do. So once again, we got this boot designed and developed and we put it at the price point of $155 because it's half the price of most of your nice leather medieval boots out there. Uh, but it doesn't have all those bells and whistles. But with a little bit of time and a little bit of thinking, a little bit of ingenuity, you can put all those bells and whistles there. You can customize it. You can make it look really cool uh, without having to hit that really high price point. Anyways, guys, that's kind of a summary of, of these boots. Really, what you can do with them, right? It really sky's the limit. Um, I mean, you could, heck, you could cut the zipper out, cut the flap off, cut them down to, to mid-calf boots, uh, lace them up the side. You could do you know, all sorts of crazy things. Uh, this is just what we found uh, literally in an hour of just messing around. We've did, we did all these mods, in actually about an hour and 10 minutes. We did the dye, uh, we did the buckles, we did the laces on three pairs of boots. So 
lots of different options. Uh, and we are always happy. You can send us an email at contact at If you guys have questions, if you want tips, if you want hints, uh, if you are one of those people who uh, would rather just pay somebody else to do it, uh, than do it yourself. Uh, we are happy to, um, we may eventually actually offer sets of buckles and uh, straps like this if people want those. Um, but we can definitely do them custom for you right now. So once again, the email contact at fellonfair.com. It's a great way to do that. Uh, but like I said, it, and even if you don't get these boots, if you're looking for other boots, like I said, we have a whole video on medieval and fantasy boots, how to choose the right one, and some, a lot of the options that are out there right now. I'm not going to tell you these are the absolute best boots ever made. I'm not going to tell you there's not things that you can do to improve them. In fact, that's what I am saying. I'm saying these are solid boots that you can do a lot to. Uh, and we wanted to create something that was simple and sturdy. Uh, and that you guys could kind of take over and take control of and really personalize and customize or just wear right out of the box if that's your more uh, your style. Anyways, thank you guys. Uh, please do uh, do the normal YouTube thing. Like, comment, subscribe, turn the little notification bell on so you know when we get a new video. Also, if you uh, have any requests, if you want to know or if you want to see future videos uh, on specific topics or something like that, we are always looking uh, for new ideas for new videos. Thank you guys. Have a great day, and we will see you hopefully out there on the battlefield one day.